Welcome back, everybody. We are going to go grab that blue page from the Mechanical Age and find out what Akinar has to say as we approach the end of Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. So we're in the library. We need to go back to the Mechanical Age. We'd already solved all the puzzles there. And... Cirrus gave us a code uh, to find uh, something from a mostly burned book and enter it in the fireplace and that by that way find the last red and blue pages but he says there's a green book there and to ignore the green book or we'll end up in prison as well I'm not sure how much I believe him because Cirrus I mean seriously Serious. So let's see. Do this. Oh no, that's we can leave that like that because we go this way. Do do do. I'm gonna go get the blue page. I'm gonna go get the blue page. Leave my flashlight on. Because why not? Uh, torture chamber. Cheese OP, a little bit jittery. A little bit jittery. Back out into the night. Into the night. I wear my sunglasses at night. Do, 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 do. I got nothing. Alright, let's turn. Oh, God, no. So much reflection. Head back to Mist with the blue page. We're getting close. We're, oh, I should set the timer. I'll set the timer. All right, timer set. <coughs> Let's see what Akinar has to say. Hello. I'm I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> It was Cirrus who did this to me. Cirrus, my wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. I release him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> began when my brother Cirrus began to lust for riches. He stole from the ages of mist. He hoarded riches for himself. My father. My father slept away his watchfulness. <laughs> My sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. <laughs> Not the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother. He did him. <laughs> and then Cirrus began to destroy the ages of mist. <laughs> he burned their forest. <laughs> he tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants completely destroyed all but four of the ages of course i had a woman father i finally found him there was serious also talking cleverly <laughs> the lying tongue of a serpent he had convinced father that it was i who destroyed the ages he convinced father that it was i who was greeted for wealth and plunder Cirrus dealt the final blow. He took the father into believing that I was the murderer. But Cirrus did not deal as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar. He deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murder. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book. 
different from the other bird books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you to the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. It's a clever trap to imprison those who have not been warned. <laughs> do not be tempted, or you will rot and die. Imprisoned as I am. I tell you, if you follow my instructions, you will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. All right, I'm going to need another sheet of paper for that pattern 158. But, so, I'm pretty sure the only time when Sirius was telling the truth was when he was describing. Akinar's uh, thirst for destruction. And I'm pretty sure that the only time Akinar was telling the truth was when he's talking about Sirius's uh, insatiable lust for riches. But there's this. And now we're carrying a white page. page and the only other book the only other linking book we know of is the green book let's let's get the code but then I want to read another book real quick no far right on the this one yes yep and there's the patterns okay one five eight. So it's a grid of one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, one, five, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's only five left. So okay. Well, this eraser has never hasn't been used in years. Good lord. Well, that's whatever. And then we had how many lines down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines down. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we want pattern 158. They both agreed on pattern 158. That's a lot of patterns. Developers made a lot of patterns. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there's an algorithm driving these patterns or if they did this all by hand. There it is, 158. All right. Do, 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 do. So I've drawn the grid, and I'm putting X's in the boxes that have squares in them so that I can re replicate it later in the fireplace. I believe earlier we went in the fireplace and started playing around with it, and that, uh, well, I mean, that amused the hell out of me. Okay, I got two, two missing, and then two more, and then two missing. And then I got three, four, five, one missing, one in, and one missing. All right, so that's pattern 158. Now that we've got that, we never read this book about rhyme. <coughs> Rhyme, I have named it. A desolate age with a beauty that is quite different than I had expected or imagined. The intricate feathers of ice that fall from the sky are awe-inspiring. I feel as though I could sit and watch them for hours. 
and though it is cold here, like I have never experienced before, I find myself enjoying the change of temperature, for it is unlike any other place that I have ever seen. Perhaps the oddest thing is the silence. Although the wind blows on occasion, when it ceases there is a suffocating silence that falls on this place, broken only by the distant cries of unseen creatures. I have visited three times and am sure now that this age will provide the environment I need. I believe the cold temperature is necessary for obtaining the correct resonance. Examining the structure of the books is ever more per 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 <laughs> Examining the structure of the books is ever more perplexing, but I am driven onward by my need to understand. The great tree of possibilities can never be fully grasped, but I must at least try to find one particular branch. On the subject of enlightenment, I would also like to find the cause of the mysterious lights that shine in the darkness here. Though I never assumed that I would be able to build especially fast here, the speed at which I am progressing is somewhat disappointing. I do think I will bring Cirrus and Akinar as well as some of the machinery from the Selenitic. Akinar chose to stay with Catherine, but Cirrus was rather excited to come. He has spent the last few days here with me, helping me with the beginning phases of construction. He too seems to enjoy the ice and cold weather. He is intrigued with the crystals that we have brought with us. He has been a big help, as have others, and I hope to be able to begin my experiments here soon. Tonight, Cirrus and I found a wondrous spot to view the lights, although it seems they decided to hide from us. After sitting in the cold winds for over two hours, we saw nothing. It was rather disappointing. Cirrus will return to Miss tomorrow. He has been a tremendous aid to me, and I am thankful for his willingness to help. The hard part of the construction is over, although I have decided after tonight that I would like to add some kind of observation post. I won't be finished as soon as I had hoped, although I'm fairly certain it will be worth the delay in the long run. I have decided to take a break from the construction now that the tunnel is almost complete, and I have been able to set up a temporary space where the crystals will not be stimulated. I am quite convinced that with the right diffraction resonance, certain properties of the ink can be simulated. Catherine still finds it absurd and thinks I am crazy to assume I will be able to view ages with stones, but her unusual pessimism has not convinced me to stop trying. I came too close to success on Everdunes. I am fairly certain now that temperature indeed does have an effect on the crystals, but I have realized that temperature alone is not enough. The cold dampens some of the sympathetic harmonics, but, but a more active suppressor is necessary. I have acquired some geodes with pure, protected, crystalline interior. Thin slices of the geodes below each crystal provided a stabilizing effect and even amplified the clean frequency slightly. After quite a bit of experimentation with the shapes and colors, I was able to capture a blurry image within a book. Though the, the link would never work, there was a clearly an age on the other side. I could hardly wait to return and tell Catherine. I feel like I should finish the shaft to my observation post while I have the machinery here, perhaps tomorrow morning. The lights were beautiful again last night. They had not shown themselves for so long that I had almost forgotten their beauty. I still must find the cause. I'm feeling rather overwhelmed with what remains to be done. The crystals have not been perfected, the shaft is not finished, nor is the observation post or even lab. I have not seen Catherine for some time, and I long to spend more time with Akinar and Cirrus. Besides all of that, there are, far away in the back of my mind, the thoughts of my people in our lost city. I dreamt again of them last night. I have only seen the city in its worst condition, and still its beauty overwhelmed me. Even now, as I visualize how majestic it must have been before the destruction caused by Viovis and Agaris, it amazes and saddens me. I am fairly certain that Denis is not dead as my father believed. I am convinced that there must be some who managed to escape the destruction, and even now continue to survive in separate ages. Within me is an urging to take a chance and return to Denis to find these survivors and probably, properly rebuild our city. However, I can do nothing until I am certain of the fate of my father. If my plan failed, if I missed a single book when attempting to trap, it, trap him on Riven, then he has been free all along. If that is true, then all that stands between him and the ages I have now written is the link from Denis to Mist. As much as I wish to return to Denis, without knowing the state of my father, I cannot risk re-establishing that link. I must observe my father without re-establishing that link. It has taken several years, and there have been many dead ends, but I have partially succeeded. 
Now that I have managed to view another age using the crystals, it is only a matter of time until I view Riven. At least I hope. Catherine will have her ideas about all of these things, and I miss her greatly. I will return to Rhyme later, when my mind is cleared. <clears throat> so, R Riven is the second age of Mist, and it is about his father again. Uh, his father again also shows up in the novels. Um, as with the destruction of Denis, it shows up in the novels, but... Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. So I don't know where Rhyme is. And I'm probably missing it, I'm missing it. And someone's probably screaming at me in comments. And that's fine. If you want to scream at me in the comments, that's good. Let me know how to get to Rhyme. Um, let's go in the fireplace and enter in code. Was it 158? Yes. 158. Let's do this thing. Nope. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Get me in there. There we go. And now we start the. Achievement unlocked. Rotational bliss. So I have a page. There are these two pages. And if I click on one, it'll pick it up and it'll drop the white page back in the, um, in the marker switch. But if I put the page... And there's Atris. Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here done. Not yet. Voice. Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atrus. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the Red and Blue books on Mist Island. My library. Uh, my library it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books that link me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to a trap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons was being trapped. My sons, Cirrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan, an evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Uh, of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you leave my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny. Go to Mist. Bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. I got it. Right here. 
I got it, Adris. Bring you the page. Here we go. Yes! Ah, oh, my friend. You've returned. And the page. Did you bring the page? Ah. Oh, give it to me. Give me the page. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. Sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. And so that's what it looks like when we link. Oh, I, I don't have control anymore. Cannot control. Can only stand and wait. There's the timer. It's done. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, but uh, my rating cannot wait. I fear that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife Catherine is being held hostage. Revan. that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope your explorations are satisfying. You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with. Home? What about home? Home? You tell me about home, Akinar? Future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. I, I, I can't. I have no control over my. Like, I can't even hit escape. I'm not sure how you expect me to do this, Atris. Yeah, I tried that. I can't click. Oh, there we go. Alright, now I've got control again. Just made me sit there like a dingle dork. So we beat the game. That's it. That's the end, guys. Let's see what he did. What did he do? Oh, well, that's fire and cracks. So he blew the bejesus out of them. And the rhyme book is on the floor. 
What is this? That looks like a clue to Riven. Oh no, that's the um 2735. That's the projector. What? What? What what? What is what is what is this? button to this thing? What? extrusion test because the line had the picture had the mountains on it. Right? So 40. Right. 40. Inside, inside. What is this? This was not in the original list. That. Okay. So that's the spaceship. So let's get this flashlight out. Let's go back to this. What is this? What is this? All of this new. There's new. What just happened? Oh, down here. <gasps> There's a hidden doorway. What is this? What is Do I get to go to Rhyme? Twitch. All right. Let's go back at the number. I think it was 2735, but let's be sure. Rhyme. Yeah, 2735. Wrote it down because I, yeah, I might forget even if I go there again. Oh my god. Oh my god. something up In the library? <gasps> it 
it is in the library. It's rhyme, you guys. It's a rhyme. It's another age that I've never been to. It was supposed to be a silent age. All right, I'm saving here. I'm saving here. And this is where we're gonna leave off. And we'll have, we will do rhyme, the rhyme age next time. Even though the game's already over, it, we're doing rhyme. We're got. We're doing rhyme. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're gonna let's play rhyme. Uh, for the for the giveaway for Gravity Ghost is a Steam game. I'm doing a Steam giveaway. Every video, there's a question, or I ask you to ask a question, and um, each video you get one that question or answer or whatever it ends up being your entry. You get one entry per video. Uh, I'll put those into a hat, and I'll draw draw out a winner for Gravity Ghost. The link is down in the description, down in the doobly doo, and there's uh, you, you'll get a free copy of the game, which I will gift to to you. I will gift it to you. Wow. Um. So my question this time is easy. Tell me the truth now. Did you know that there were that this age was there? Because I didn't know. Did you, did you know that rhyme was there? I, 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 did, did you know? All right, guys, you are awesome, and don't forget that. Just have have a fantastic day, and remember exactly how awesome you are.